for the delay. We're just trying to accommodate camera and power and elders. Uh, so we are gonna start this ceremony in a good way. Going to invite Della Owens, our elder, to give the opening prayer. Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Okay. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. We're here today for this special gathering to honor our chief and the counselors and uh, let us wish them all the best for the next four years that they're in their hot seat. seat. But I'm gonna start off by saying a prayer in Cree. How no tawina na sami no ta kindo tamat n kapi pihti guin kapi si to skoi aoma kindo tamat no he kahkio o he kani ganap to ten koes kanaga tima to utatuski unua na kam sami to koes naga tim. Heavenly Father, I thank you for blessing us to be here today. Bless the counselors and the chief for their long journey ahead of them. And they will encounter everything that we have encountered with the storm today. And at the end, it will come out in good endings. I thank, I thank you for each and every one of you is coming, coming here today to support your family and your loved ones. Hi, hi, go kitten. Thank you. Oh. Thank you, Della. Huh? Doing the swearing. Oh, okay. So welcome, ladies and gentlemen, um, to our swearing-in ceremony. No microphone. No microphone. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for coming out this evening for the swearing-in ceremony. I really appreciate your time and energy. I also uh, want to say that I have been truly blessed from my heart. I do feel it that this community is amazing. Uh, you have good people here. And I want to say thank you for uh, inviting me in to be your electoral officer. I see only good things uh, coming in the future. And like the rain coming out tonight, I think we're truly blessed um, with a good sign tonight. Uh, so for the proceedings, um, we will have uh, I will read the oath so that we're only reading it once and that oath is for every council member and chief and then we will have each councillor um, sign the oath with Norma and make their declaration and then after that we will welcome the entire council and then each council member will have an opportunity to give an ad address to the public and our chief, um, Rudy Paquette, will go uh, last for that address. And then after that, we will have our closing. And I know uh, we have lots of goodies and treats, so you are welcome to mingle, for sure. So thank you for coming. Congratulations. So uh, the oath, I gotta use my flashlight to read it. <laughs> and I gotta get my other glasses. Okay, so the First Nations Chief and Council Swearing in Cer Ceremony Code of Conduct for June 2023. I, we're going to insert the councillor's name and the chief's name, a duty, duly elected council member of the Soda First Nations do declare. 
As a leader of Soto First Nations, I will govern as one in unity with my fellow chief and counselors, uphold and abide by all of the Soto First Nations laws, bylaws, policies and procedures, and traditional laws and customs as enacted. Preserve and protect our Treaty 8 rights and Aboriginal rights and title. Preserve and protect our treaty and traditional lands using best management practices in the use and preservation of our natural resources. Preserve and protect and encourage the rights and practices of our culture, language, laws, and customs, including the right to communicate in the Cree language. Ensure the safety of the Soda First Nation citizens, community members, and community property. Provide leadership and governance to Soto First Nations based on the priorities given me by the citizens through community consultation and ratification as appropriate and practical with the other declarations made herein. Example, the Soto First Nations Leadership Policy Manual. Exercise and exert the authority of my office in a manner that is consistent in keeping with the best interests and acting in good faith of the Soto First Nations community, its citizens, in perform and its community members. Perform the duties and obligations of my office with accountability, openness, and transparency in an honorable, respectable, and professional manner befitting an elected leader of our nation. Ensure that quorum is maintained during any duly convened council meeting and for any vote on a motion of council. Refrain from any activity that may and or will disqualify and remove me from my office or be in contravention or negligence to any other Soda First Nations laws, bylaws, policies and procedures, traditional laws and customs and or any other applicable regulatory requirement including but not limited to A, reporting for duty under the influence of drugs, alcohol, and or other substances might affect or alter my behavior and my ability to think and make sound decisions, or B, conducting or protecting, protecting any criminal activity, or C, breaching trust and or confidentiality and loyalty, or D, causing a real or perceived conflict of interest, or E, using influence for personal advantage, or F, sorry, Disclosing any confidential information gained through my position in contravention of the Freedom of Information and Protection of Privacy Act, or G, disclose any confidential, confidential information gained through my position in contravention of the Leadership Policy Manual, or H, inappropriately using and or handling of Soda First Nations monies, property, and or equipment, or I, accepting inappropriate gifts or failing to report the receipt of gifts, or J, failing to attend council meetings without prior authorization for absence, or K, being disrespectful to any Soto First Nations citizen, community members, fellow chief or counselors, administrative, administrative staff members, persons, groups, or organizations, or uh, L, failing to maintain my status as a citizen in good standing. Encourage and maintain fully open communications with all of the citizens and community members of Soto First Nations and not withholding or conceal any information regarding any matter of importance of the nations. Not to interfere with administrative duties and obligations except as per the requirements set forth in the Leadership Policy Manual. I, insert name, hereby swear under oath and in the presence of witnesses that everything I have declared in this leadership code of conduct to the truth then that I will be subject to any and all agreed upon conditions and provisions herein. I make this solemn declaration consciously believing it to be true and knowing that it is of the same force and effect as if made under oath and by virtue of the Canadian Canada Evidence Act. And now we will begin our um, counselor signing. So the first uh, first counselor um, for the Cottrell family, Donovan Cameron. And you'll just go see Norma. Thank you. 
you done with cabinets where the content of this affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge and information and so help you out. Thank you, Councillor Donovan. Uh, Councillor for the Davis family, Colleen Tudisek. Do you, Colleen Tudisek, swear that the contents of the affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief? So help you God. I do. Signed there and dated twenty seventh June. Thank you. Our next counselor for the Goche family, Justin Goche. Do you, Justin Goche? Swear that the contents of this affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief. So help you God. I do. The date here and in your signature. I'm not allowed. So the camera. Thank you. The light's not in the way. Oh, okay. Right here, the date, 27. Just sign there. I'll put the date. Yeah. Yeah, just hang on. Congratulations. And good luck. And our counselor for the Napoleon family, Eureta Owens. We're just waiting for a descent. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, Eureta, swear that the contents of this affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge, information, and beliefs So help you God? Yes. Yes, ma'am. The date, the date here, and then you should Congratulations and good luck. Yeah, and our last council member for the Desjardins family, Chief Rudy Paquette. Do you, Rudy?
Rudy Paquette swear that the uh, con contents of this affidavit are true to the best of your knowledge, information, and belief. So help you God. I do. The date there and your signature. Can't see seven. that. I don't have my glasses. I can do that too. I'll take it. I'll do it. Hang on. Hang on. Put your time. Congratulations and good luck. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, your new council. Each council member has a chance to give uh, an address to the public. And again, we'll start with uh, Donovan Cameron from the Cottrell family. Good evening, elders, Chief Rudy Paquette, uh, fellow council members, families, and friends of our nation. I'm here in front of you all today filled with a sense of humility and honor. I'm grateful to each one of you for entrusting me with the responsibility of serving as a council member for our nation. Your support and faith in me can't go unacknowledged, unacknowledged so I promise to carry out my duties with integrity, respect, and a commitment to serve you all. Firstly, I'd like to extend my congratulations to our newly elected chief, Rudy Paquette. I hope to find inspiration in your vision, dedication, and leadership. I look forward to working closely with you and the rest of our elected council. So congratulations to everyone for your dedication and thank you for your continued service. In, in accepting this role, I understand that the strength of our nation lies in unity and in the shared vision that we build together. So I wanna assure you all that I'm committed to fostering a collaborative environment one in which every opinion matters, every voice is heard, and every decision we make is meaningful. I'm committed to enhancing our governance, improving our services, and bettering the lives of our people. I'll personally require transparency and accountability in every decision I make and every action I take. These principles will be my guiding light. So over the past few weeks and months, I've spent countless hours contemplating the challenges we face and exploring potential solutions. Our shared path forward is not one without its challenges, there will be times when we will need to make tough decisions, but we'll need to stand strong in the face of adversity. But I'm confident that with, collective, with our collective wisdom and shared resolve, we'll overcome any obstacle that comes our way. So thank you again for this incredible opportunity to serve, because I'm humbled and I'm honored, and above all, I'm ready to work together to create a vibrant and thriving future for our nation. So thank you. Thank you, Councillor Donovan. Our, our next councillor uh, from the Davis family, Colleen Tudisek. Dancy, my name is Colleen Tudisek. I am honoured to, uh, to represent the community and to be working with Rudy, our new chief and council. We have a long road ahead and I look forward to working for the nation, uh, to provide transparency, to listen to our membership, to continue to have that open line of communication open. I wasn't prepared for a speech, I was unaware, but I am here and I'm willing and able to, do, to fulfill this position. Um, and I'm honored that membership um, has entrusted me in this position. I want to thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor um, Tosek. Uh, our next councillor for the Goche family, uh, Justin. Hi, welcome everybody. I want to thank you all for joining us today. Um, 
I don't have a whole lot to say. I thank you all for voting for me. For those who didn't, I hope to win your trust and and uh, <laughs> excited and honored to serve you all. Uh, thanks for coming out. Thank you, Councillor Justin. And our next councillor from the Napoleon family, Eureta Owens. Well, I just want to, you know, be humble because this is a privilege to serve this nation and I'm grateful to be back. This is, uh, you know, going into a third term. There's still a lot of vision and there's still a lot of ideas that we get to discuss as a collective team that will definitely, uh, you know, bring prosperity to this nation and the people in this community. So I'm very excited to be part of the team once again. And I just appreciate everybody who supported. And, you know, for the future, I really do believe it looks bright and it looks good. And I'm excited to be on this journey to, you know, work together and, and be open to communication and, you know, be a listener because I feel like over, over the past uh, few years, that's what seems to be most important is the ability to listen to what membership is saying to leadership and having that open dialogue so that we're actually really working together as a, as a community. And so I'm just, you know, doors are open anytime anyone wants to have a chat about whatever your idea is or your issue or a problem, whatever it may be. We're all here to serve, so you know, come on in and have a chat, and we can work through whatever it is. So I'm just happy to be back uh, on council, and I just appreciate uh, this opportunity. So thank you so much, everyone. Merci. Thank you, Councillor Yurida, and. Uh, our last speaker of the evening uh, from the Desjardins family, uh, Chief Rudy Paquette. Well, first of all, I'd, I'd like to thank the creator, Masi. I also would like to thank all the voters that came out and voted. It shows you care for this nation. I am so humbled and honored that you selected me as your chief. If you, but if you look at the team we have, I think the future looks bright and I think we're gonna do a lot of good things. I am blessed. So, I have learned so much in the last six years that I've been in council and I have a lot more to learn. And with the guidance of the membership, we'll, we'll move mountains. Last six years, we've moved a lot of mountains, especially the federal and provincial government. Before we'd go to their door, they'd say no. Now they're opening the door for us, so it's a good sign. The, it's slowly tilting towards the nations now instead of always getting that no answer. We're getting actually, yes, we can do that for you. I am very honored to follow in the footsteps of my great grandfather, Bill Desjardins, who signed the treaty in 1914. Going forward, I just want to mention the money we are receiving. It worries me greatly. Every nation has people with addictions, including ours. So please, if you see someone struggling, ask if they want help. Don't yell and scream at them. We are doing our best to get counselors for addictions, and, but they are really hard to find. Financially, we are in a good place. So I think we need to concentrate on our culture and our language. We have a lot. We have a lot of projects coming up. We also have other claims we are working on. The annuity claim that is going to be a huge claim and 
I hope it doesn't take as long as the TLE. One thing I want to mention is that we're growing in leaps and bounds and under my leader, leadership, I will always make it a priority to put our members first. But please be kind to our non-Indigenous staff. I think we are better than the racism that is out there today. Our staff is only here to help, so please be courteous. Again, I am honored and I love you all. Merci, merci. Thank you, uh, Chief Rudy Piquet. Uh, with that, I think that concludes our evening, but they've all kind of said they're available for you now. <laughs> so mingling, grab a coffee, have a chat, uh, enjoy the celebration. Thank you so much. Woo!